saw this story from Queen Chocolate Beauty and I just had to get into it. She's talking about how you people choose to think that marriage is just a piece of paper. And that when that spouse dies, that family don't care nothing about you. You could be calling his mama, mama, but when he die, you better call him Miss Johnson. I love this. I'm going to tag her in this story because it got me to thinking, well, what if they're living in a state that recognizes common law? Do you know you're right? That's also important. So let's get into it. As usual, if you're on Facebook or Instagram and you don't see my full story, please go to my YouTube, The Carolina Diamond. Now, we're talking about common law marriage. It's an informal marriage where couples did not have a marriage license, marriage ceremony, or marriage certificates. But according to the state they reside in, they can still be recognized as a common law spouse. Why is this important? Because if you've been with this person, you want to be recognized by law as someone is significant in their life so that you could get benefits, spousal support, inheritance, even social security benefits, child support. And if the marriage doesn't work, or if the common law marriage or relationship doesn't work out, you may still be able to get, um, you know, equity in the divorce, right? get it split evenly. Um, so you don't want to think that just because you did not go to the courthouse and get a marriage license that you are not legally bound to this person because you may still be. These are the states that recognize common law matter marriage, be it fully or limited. All of the states that you see with the writing beside them is limited. For instance, if created before January the 1st, 2017 in Alabama. So that means that if you were in a relationship before that time, they're going to recognize it. Also look at New Hampshire. It's only for new for inherited purposes. So you can't say if you wanted to divorce them, you wouldn't get anything. If you want a spouse support, you couldn't. If they died, uh, you couldn't get social security benefits, but you could inherit property from them, right? So if they live in a house, to, you guys live in a house together, but your name wasn't on the deed, then you could quite frankly still get things so if you're in New Hampshire and your spouse passes away and their family try to bum rush you and say, ah, oh, he gone, we're taking a car, we're taking the house, your name ain't on nothing, stop and get you a lawyer because you have rights, but only to inherit. And also that means too, like they wouldn't be able to fight the will as well if that person designated you in the will. And also you guys, I am not an attorney. I'm not giving out legal advice, but I just wanted you to know that you have options. Now, I know you're like, well, D, what if I'm in a state that recognizes it and I move to a state that doesn't? The state that you move to still has to recognize it. So if you're in a state that recognizes that you were common law married and you move to a state that normally doesn't recognize it, they will still recognize yours. They have to. Same-sex couples, because of the 2015 ruling that same-sex couples have the right to marry, same-sex couples can also be considered to be common law married. Ha ha. I'm going to let you pause to read. I just have a few states to give you what is considered to be common law because that's the part that you're going to have to do your research on or consult an attorney about. So for instance, in Colorado, first of all, you have to be of legal mind. And then also the parties must intend to be married. The relationship must also be proven by the cohabitation of the common law spouses and their reputation in the community for being married. Pause and let you guys read this while I say that if you are cohabitating with someone, meaning you have been living with someone and you pretty much consider yourself to be their spouse, make sure that you do protect your rights. And if you have children by them, your children's rights. Now, I know back in the day, and I don't know if this if they still do this, let me know. They used to like make sure there's a light bill in their name. Like if I was with uh, last name Brown, I would make sure my name is D Brown. The community would know me as Mr. Brown's wife. They would understand and we will be known. That way it wouldn't be so hard to prove later on that I was recognized as his wife. Also, you guys, life insurance, hello. You need to have life insurance in your name because that's protecting you. If there's a car that's yours, it needs to be in your name. Like things that are of assets and values, your name should be on bank accounts if after they pass. So say for instance, they said, no, I don't want you on my bank account before I, I die. That's fine. But they can have what's called a financial power of attorney, just like you can have a medical power of attorney saying that the moment they become incapacitated or can no longer make decisions or they pass away, then you... This what is in this account belongs to you. I hope this information helps. I'm going to tag 
um, Queen of Chocolate Beauty um, because this just was an excellent um, story that she did on TikTok. And she's fabulous. You guys go follow her. And let me know your thoughts.